push those hips up towards the ceiling. Pull the belly button in, tuck your tailbone under and start to lift your hips up, up, up towards the ceiling. Good. And then roll them back down. Exhale and lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Inhale, roll them back down. Good. Exhale, lift. You got it. And inhale, roll it back down. Good. Last two. Good. And down. And one more time. Hold on top. Hold on top. Okay. Pull your belly button in just a little bit more. Tuck your tailbone under just a little bit more. See if you can lift your right hip bone just a little higher. Lay it back flat to the other one and then lift the left. So we're remaining lifted with those hips, but you're just lifting one pelvic bone a little higher than the other. And you're just alternating side to side. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. One more time. Either side. Lift and lower. One more. Good. Draw those hips back down to the floor. Pull your knees into your chest and have a little stretch for your low back there. And if you wish, you can do a little rock side to side. Okay. Now we're finding our groove. Woohoo! Is it a full moon today? It just feels like one of those days. <laughs> okay. Good. Keeping the right knee there, let the left knee or left foot, pardon me, come back down to the floor. Good. Reaching behind the back of that thigh, you're going to stretch that leg up to capture that hamstring stretch and then bend to release. And then go back into it, go just a little further and release. Up. Good. Okay, so we're slowly waking up those hamstrings, getting them ready for what's coming next. Good. Two. And bend. And one more time. Good, lay those two feet back down to the floor. Good, okay, reaching those hands back up towards the ceiling. Just a little movement before we get back into our bridge. We're gonna reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling and then settle the shoulder blades back into the floor. Peel those shoulder blades up and away from the floor. Settle them back in, good. Use your exhale to pull those shoulders off the floor. Inhale to come back down, last two and down one more time good and then settle the shoulders back to the floor pull the belly button in tuck the tailbone under push through all four corners of your feet squeeze your glutes as you lift up okay hold on top pull your belly button in tuck your tailbone under just a little bit more and see if you can place a little more weight onto the big toe just a little bit okay unstick the right heel off the ground lay it back down other side, just the left heel lifts, lay it back down. Right side, lay it back down. Left side, lay it back down. One more time, either side. Good, lift and lower one more time. Okay, amplifying here. Either keep going with this or take the whole foot off the floor into your tabletop with that one lifted leg. Inhale to come down, other side. Exhale and peel the other leg now, if this is just going too far too fast, just stay with the heel lift. Good job, you guys. Or cruise into <laughs> full-blown lifts. All right, and you have a third option here. Good job, let's try one more time. We'll take a little break before I give you the third option. And then lower back down, pull two knees in towards your chest, take a little break there. Rock side to side, good. Okay, and we're gonna get back to our bridge in a moment. And we're gonna give you that third layer. Again, it's optional. You can always go back to what we were just doing if the next level is too much. Okay, back to center. Roll out those ankles before we go any further because they're doing a lot of work to support. Good. All right, feet come down, fingertips go back up. At any point, you can bring your, bring your arms down alongside the body as well. Okay, give you a little more support there. All right, bridge those hips back up to where we were. Pull the belly button in, tuck that tailbone under, give those glutes a good squeeze. Unstick your right leg either to tabletop or the final option is to stretch that lifted leg up towards the ceiling to get some length across the back thigh. Switch legs, either draw that leg to tabletop or reach beyond and get that long leg reaching towards the ceiling. Good and lower back down. Just keep alternating side to side. Take it slow and controlled. Exhale as you lift and reach that leg. Inhale as you bring it back down. 
Exhale as you lift, one more time either side, stretch. Good, and one more time, one more time. Good, and then lower the foot down, lower the hips down, stretch those legs long, stretch those arms long. Good, make yourselves eight feet tall, and then just point and flex the feet. Give some length across the shins and the calves. Good. <laughs> And then draw those arms down alongside the body and bend those knees once again. Good. Take those feet about mat width apart, keeping the knees bent. You're gonna draw one knee down and in as the other stays put, and then you switch. So we have those hips just relaxing on the floor while we give that long two joint muscle a little bit of length and switch. We're not holding it for too long. Good, one more time, either side. And the last one. Good. And coming back to center. Okay, drawing your right knee to tabletop once again. And then you're gonna slide the left leg down to the floor. Make it long and let it relax on the ground. We're gonna take two hands this time. We did this one on Monday, you might remember it. Two hands go on that front thigh. Okay, take a nice deep breath in before we go. Exhale, pull your belly button in and really feel that floor beneath you. Okay, inhale, here we go. Exhale, push your two hands into your thigh and your thigh back into your hands, getting stronger and stronger until you need to take a breath. Inhale, relax, same leg, repeat. Exhale, here we go. Inhale, release, good, do it again. Exhale, push into that thigh, thigh pushing back into the hands, getting stronger and stronger until you need to take a breath and then relax that leg and switch to the other side. Good, all right. Pull that belly button and feel the floor, inhale. And here we go, exhale, push, 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 push. Inhale when you need to, to catch your breath. Exhale and push, getting stronger and stronger as you go till you can't go any further, inhale. Exhale, push, good. You got it. Let those two legs go long to the floor one more time. Arms go long. Make yourselves eight feet tall. This time, just roll out the ankles. Good. Okay. And then draw the arms back down alongside the body. Good. Bend those knees. Okay. Lovely. From there, we're going to keep those hands down to the ground. We're going to draw your knees up to tabletop get you started on our core work for today. So making sure those knees are directly over top of the hips and toes are slightly higher than the knees, pull your belly button in, tuck your tailbone under a little bit more so you feel a little closer to the floor. All right, good. From there, you have choice. Either take that right toe, inhale down, tap it to the floor, exhale to come back up. Other side, inhale to come down, exhale. Okay, keep going here alternating side to side. What we wanna check in with is to make sure that when we're moving the limbs, that our ribs are not moving with them, <laughs> that they're staying connected to the floor, that your lower abdominal is really driving this movement along with your, obviously your hip flexors here, they work really well together. If you feel like you're maintaining control for this and you wanna go a little further, simply take that one leg and stretch it long, as opposed to tapping it and then draw it back in. Inhale, take the other side, draw it long, pull it back in, good. Exhale, okay. So the limbs are afterthoughts. <laughs> the first thing we're thinking about is really that control and the connection, the deep connection in your core muscles and the breath, of course. Exhale to draw the leg up one more time either side. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, draw it up one more time. Awesome, okay, we're gonna pull two knees back into your chest. Again, you can either stay here with a little rock side to side. If you need to go a little deeper into that low back, we can get into our happy baby. Good, which is just grabbing hold of those inner feet and then rocking side to side. This one just takes that low back, QL muscle deep, deep in that back, a little bit uh, further into the stretch. 
if it's tender, just come back to pulling your knees into your chest instead. Okay, and release. Feet come back down to the floor. Arms come back down to the floor. Good, drawing back up to tabletop. Okay, we're gonna get into a really small, small movement. And there's no graceful way of doing this. <laughs> Hands stay down alongside the body. We're actually gonna use those arms a little bit more on this next one. All right, so small movement. We're gonna pull the belly button in, tuck the tailbone under. Now I'm gonna see if I can draw my knees in towards my chest. When I can't go any further, I'm just gonna press the floor with my palms and see if I can pull those knees in a little closer and then I release back to my start position, okay? So keeping knees bent, I'm gonna exhale, start to pull them in towards me, draw them in, see if I can get a little bit of a lift off those hips and then lower back down. And when I mean little, we're talking micro, so it doesn't have to be big. Exhale, unless you're feeling really good today. If your back is really tight though, it's going to restrict the amount of movement we can actually capitalize on, and that's okay. Back down, good. The last thing we wanna be mindful of is the neck and shoulders are going to be a little bit engaged, but we don't want them to be really getting crabby and cranky. So just a little activation through there, but not a lot of tension. Good, let's try two more. Peel, good, and then one more time. Good, okay, draw those knees back to your tabletop. Let those shoulders pull back into the floor. Belly button pulls in. Option number one is to take one leg on a soft diagonal and stretch it long. And then draw it back into your start position. Take the other one on a diagonal. This is option number one. Okay, after doing a few of these, and if you feel like you wanna ramp it up a little bit more, we then do two legs together, okay? Or if your back is a little vulnerable today, really not happy, you can do one leg at a time, okay? Draw it out, inhale to draw it in. Draw it out, exhale, inhale, good. Exhale, draw it out. So keep cruising with either the one leg or the two, whatever feels right, or even a combination. If you feel you're doing two and you think, eh, I'm getting a little tired, but you wanna keep going, can transition into one leg. That's it, Sue. Good work. Two. One more time. Way to go, you guys. Okay, we're gonna draw those feet back down to the floor. Awesome. We're gonna let two legs go long to the ground and two arms swing back alongside the ears so that you're making yourselves really tall. And whatever you wanna do with those feet, whether you're rolling those ankles or pointing and flexing, good. Okay. Draw those hands, two hands behind the back of the head, bending those knees once again. Okay, we're gonna layer up lots of choice on this next one. Okay, we're gonna focus on just this one set of muscles that run down along that center abdominal or that central, central core, okay? From here, we're gonna tuck the chin in. So we've got some length first on the back of the neck. The chin is tucking in and the belly button is pulling in. So you're sort of starting to close that gap between your back and the floor. Take a deep breath in, exhale and just lift the head and shoulders and then inhale to come back down. Okay, exhale to lift, inhale back down. Okay, so this is option number one where we're keeping those feet to the floor and we're just focusing on that upper half. Good. If you're feeling pretty good today and you want to go a little further, float just the heels off the floor as you lift the head and shoulders and then come back down. Keep that chin tucking in. If your neck is getting a little tired, let those arms kick in and lift the weight of your head. Good, okay, last two. Good, one more time. We're gonna take a little break and then we'll amplify again. Okay, let the head come down. Keep the hands behind the back of the head. Walk those knees together, glue them, and take them over to one side. Good. So by keeping your hands behind the back of your head, it's just increasing the amount of stretch. Switch sides, the amount of stretch that we can get in between those ribs and deep into the low back. And just keep swinging those knees side to side gently. Good. Okay, come back to center. Keeping those hands behind the back of the head, draw your knees to tabletop once again. Looks good, you guys. Pull the belly button in. Okay, <laughs> this is the third option. Take that uh, head and shoulders and just peel them off the floor. 
Inhale, come back down. Exhale and lift. Good. Inhale, back down. Okay. All right. Either we stay put with this or as your head and shoulders come down, so hold on top for a moment. As your head and shoulders come down, one foot comes down to tap. The foot comes, or the leg comes back to tabletop. The head and shoulders lift up. The other toe comes down as the head and shoulders come down. Exhale to bring it back up. Inhale, take the other side down. Exhale and lift. Okay, it's a bit of a thinker. Good, heads come down, foot comes down. Good, or just keep two knees lifted in your tabletop posture. Let's try one more time on either side. Inhale, come down. Exhale, pull it all up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, pull it all up. Good. Okay, float the feet back down. Let the head and shoulders come back down. Good work, you guys. Take those arms out to T with the palms facing up. Glue the knees together and take the knees over to one side. And then switch. And switch. And switch. Very nice. All right, come back to center. Just like we did in warm up, you're going to pull one knee in towards your chest as you slide the other leg down and long to the floor. And we're going to give those legs a good opposing stretch. So as you really pull that knee in towards you, you see how you can take this leg further away from the hip joint. Good. Okay. And then switch. Good work. Okay, and then draw your feet down. We're gonna roll you over onto your side. Good. And keep that shoulder locked in tight. Okay, allow those ribs to collapse gently to the floor without jeopardizing your shoulder, and then take those bottom ribs and really pull them up so that the hips are lining up and the ribs together. Inhale, come down. Exhale and lift. Good, inhale and down. Exhale and lift. Good. Last two. And one more time. Okay, adding on. Take that arm all the way up. And pull those ribs even higher. Now hold here. Take that arm, roll it around the big beach ball. We have a pretend beach ball that's in front of us. We're going to wrap our arm around it and then return to your start position. All the while, you're keeping your pelvic bones pointing forward in front of you. Good. Exhale and roll around okay and then hold there good draw that hand down walk yourselves up to mermaid just for a moment so the arm you are resting on reaches up and over good give it a good good bit of length across from the tip of your fingers all the way down to the top of your hip bone okay and come on back down <clears throat> okay back to where we were well, ribs roll up. Now, <clears throat> so sorry, you have the option of either going back to what we were just doing or we amplify just a little bit more, reach those fingertips up, shoulder nice and strong, head follows the line of the spine. You're gonna lift and peel those hip bones up off the floor with control. Then you're gonna inhale and lower them back down with control. Two more times, lift, <clears throat> pardon me and down all right this time lift and hold all the way up hold there take that arm roll it around the beach ball good and then back up to your start position good work exhale roll it around inhale to draw back up one more time exhale roll it around good job reach it all the way up come down to the floor walk it back to your child i'm sorry <laughs> mermaid not child's pose all the way up Good. Okay. Down to your side. We're going to take a break with the shoulder just for a moment. We're going to stretch that arm long and then just rest your head on that long arm to the floor. Okay. We're going to bend those knees and draw them in a little closer towards us. Okay. Getting into our physiotherapy move of clamshell. Keeping the feet glued together, you're going to draw that top knee up towards the ceiling without rolling your pelvic bones backwards if you can. Okay, so keeping them stacked, you're gonna roll back down. So exhale as you lift, 
Inhale as you lower back down. Good. Exhale as you lift. So you're going to notice that there's um, a limitation as to how far you can go. And that's a good thing. Okay. If we feel like we're really needing to go broad, it means that we're pulling in other muscles to sort of help out. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep it isolated deep into that hip, into those rotators. Good. Exhale. Good. Inhale. All right. Two more like that. And then we're going to modify one more time. This time, we're going to draw the knee down so they're stacked on top of each other. Hover the bottom, or sorry, the top foot just away from the bottom foot and keep it there, and then clamshell. So we're going to keep that small distance apart from the feet all the way through. Use your exhale to draw that knee up. Inhale to come back down. Good. Exhale to lift. Inhale back down. Last two. Good. And one more time and down good okay pat it out if you're feeling any sort of that burning in there give it a little bit of a tap tap to help flush it out good okay let's lift and switch or you can just roll to the other side i'm going to turn around you guys can go any way you want to the other side we'll start you up in your sphinx position okay well, we've got that elbow right below the shoulder the head follows the line of the spine i'm going to pull up and away from the floor Pull those bottom ribs up and in. Inhale to allow those ribs to collapse to the floor. At any point, you can always come back to this movement here, okay? We offer lots of layers so that if for any reason your back is not happy today or hips are nagging at you, <laughs> or shoulders for that matter, good. Inhale, come down. Okay, take that top hand all the way up. Hold there. And then roll that arm around the beach ball, keeping your pelvic bones pointing forward, and then all the way up. Use your exhale to roll around the beach ball. <sighs> Inhale to reach it up. Let's try two more. Exhale, roll it around. Good. And up. One more time. Awesome. All right. We're going to bring you into your mermaid stretch. Before we go on, walk your hands up the arm you are resting on is the one that reaches up towards the ceiling. Good. Okay, amplifying here a little bit more. Come on back down to your sphinx on one side. Good. First thing we do is get that shoulder nice and strong. Pull those ribs up and away. Reach that arm up towards the ceiling. Head follows the line of your spine. Okay, here we go. We're gonna lift those hips up with control good inhale to lower back down that's the hard part <laughs> exhale and lift Ooh. inhale back down good and again lift and down this time we lift and we hold hold there all right take that arm around roll around exhale inhale to reach it up two more to go exhale roll it around that's it all the way up Every movement counts here. Good job, you guys. Exhale, roll it around and up towards the ceiling. Lower the hips back down. Walk it up to mermaid. Ow, that's a tough one. And up we go with that arm. Good, and come down. Okay, we're gonna rest that head on that lengthened out arm. Good. Okay, bending those knees, bringing them in closer towards you. Stacking the hip right over top of the other hip bone. Okay, from there, we're gonna glue those feet together. We're gonna draw the knee up, good, and then back down. Draw that knee up, good. So thinking about where the movement is coming from always helps us to execute the movement a little bit better. So we're gonna think about wrapping those glutes around to your center line behind you, and then back down, okay? Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you back down. And we're doing the movement just within its range, meaning we're not gonna call upon other muscle groups. We're not gonna roll the pelvic bones back. Good, two more. One more time. Okay. Then take a quick break there, stack those knees over top of each other, hover the top foot just off of the bottom one, and then clamshell once again, lift and lower, good lift and lower you got it lift and lower lift good last three here we go exhale to lift inhale back down last two 
You guys are troopers. One more time. Nice. Okay, we're gonna stretch it out. Come on up to Mermaid one more time, and then we'll stretch out those hips. Okay, very nice. Let's bring you down onto your back. We're gonna get you into your pretzel stretch. Okay, and from here, we're gonna cross one leg over top and pull your knees in towards you. Good. switch to the other side. Very nice. Okay. Take your time any way you can bring yourself up to sitting position. We're all the way up. Good. From here, we're gonna sit nice and tall on our sit bones. Good, actually we'll come back a little bit. Okay, from here, then we're gonna pull the belly button in. We're gonna tuck that tailbone under and start to round out the back as we scoop the belly. And then we roll back on top of those sit bones to bring the spine nice and tall. And then tuck it under, curve that spine. Good, open up those shoulder blades behind you. Pull those shoulder blades together as you reach it up towards the ceiling. And then come back down. Good. Last two. Reach and down one more time. Okay. Pull the belly button in, tuck the tailbone under, roll past those sit bones, and just kind of hang out there for a little bit. Okay. So we're really concentrating on pulling the belly button in. You're wrapping those ribs around, so you're getting nice, good, deep supports, like you're cinching a belt in. And then from there, I'm going to take my hands and just float them above the knees. Okay. I'm going to float one foot off the ground as I exhale. Inhale to come back down. Exhale, take the other foot up and down. And I'm just going to alternate side to side. If at any point your back is saying, no, thank you, I don't like this, you come out of it, take a little break. Okay. You can always go back into it if you need to. Okay. And then just cruise a little bit further here. Just keep going a little bit longer. Good. Last four, come out of it if you need to. Three, two. All right, to come out of it, we're gonna lift up onto those sit bones, take the feet a little bit wider, and I'm just going to sink in between those legs. Good, get some length all across that back thigh there. I'm sorry, back thigh, <laughs> into your low back. Oh my gosh. It's a little harder teaching after having a birthday party the night before. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> wasn't my birthday. It was just my daughter's 17th birthday. And lift. Okay, good. From here, walk those feet back in. All right. Okay. So, um, we're going to, we're going to roll like a ball. Now, the only thing I want to sort of start off with is, um, if you have a harder surface underneath you, um, just be cautious with this one. If you find that you are working on a hardwood floor and this next movement is just not comfortable, I'll show you something else. Also give yourself a little bit of space behind you so you're not gonna hit your head on any furniture or anything like that, okay? I'm gonna to come towards the end of my mat in my nice tall posture. I'm gonna pull that belly button and tuck the tailbone under and get into that curved spine, okay? By tucking my tailbone under. Then I'm gonna float my feet up off the ground. I'm gonna keep my hands just resting on my shins there. I'm gonna pull it in a little bit tighter. Pull the belly button in, tuck your tailbone under, and just roll bone by bone without laying your head down. Good, and then roll back up. Good, tuck that tailbone under, inhale as you go back, and exhale to come forward. And by tucking your tailbone under, that's really what starts this ball rolling, that's it. Inhale, come back, exhale. We're just keeping that chin tucked in so we're not tempted to roll the head back. Keep the chin tucked in on the way back, and on the way forward. Good, let's try one more. Come back to your balance position. Good, tuck it under and roll. Good, once you're done, place those feet to the ground. Good job, one leg goes long and the other foot just tucks in beside that one, nice and tall on the saddle. 
good. And then if you can, flex that foot of the leg in front of you and then hinge at the hip to get that nice long back thigh stretch of the extended leg. Very nice. And then we'll switch. and roll it all the way up. Very nice. Okay, one more time with this knee bent posture here. Okay, nice and tall. Pulling the belly button in, tucking the tailbone under, taking those hands just away from the knees. Good, okay. Making sure again, you're pulling that belly button in, feeling those ribs wrapping around. Okay, from here, keeping these sit bones glued to the floor, you're gonna take your hands over to one side and then over to the other. Inhale as you come center, exhale to rotate. Inhale, center, exhale to rotate. Good. Okay, so this is option number one. Keeping it nice and compact, making sure we're not shifting those hip bones at all. If you wish to go a little harder, you're gonna take your hands up, reach them above the head, and then lay them down on the other side. Inhale as you reach, exhale as you return to the side. Good. Okay, so the control is coming through the stomach. If you start to feel the back doing the job instead, come out of it and stretch a little bit, okay? One more time, either side. Good. Okay, come back to center. Lift and come out of it. Walk those feet a little bit wider apart and then lean into those thighs. Good work. Nice. Okay, and then roll back up. Well done. All right, we're gonna stretch one leg long. We're gonna cross that leg over top. You're gonna, um, with the opposite arm, hug that bent knee in towards you as you sit up nice and tall on the saddle. And the bonus is just to look over that same shoulder. But the key here is really to pull that knee in towards you as you sit up tall. Good. And switch to the other side, cross that leg over. Really pull that knee in towards you and sit up nice and tall. And that way we're just gonna capture that nice broad stretch across that outer hip, even into the inside of that hip. Good work. Okay, we're gonna roll you over onto your stomach. All right, once you get there, we're gonna start you off with just a nice, easy, sloppy push-up with those hands going a little bit wider. Let the lower half just relax, and then you're gonna press through those palms and draw it up only as far as you feel that back will allow you to go. Inhale to come back down. Good, exhale. So we're not having to think about pulling anything together, just pressing away from the floor, getting some length across the front of the stomach. Good, and getting some curve into the back. And like I've said so many times before, I'm sorry, it gets a bit repetitive, but what I said before many times is that this range here for your low back is equally as important as being able to reach for your toes as to what kind of range you can get. Good, one more time. Okay, teeter-totter coming up. So we're gonna lower back down. Good, we're gonna keep those hands just alongside our body. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm looking towards my mat, I'm gonna pull my belly button up and in. I'm gonna to start to feel my hip bones very gently pressing into the floor beneath me. Then I'm gonna look beyond my mat, I'm gonna press through my palms and I'm gonna lift as high as I can go, okay? Then I'm gonna lay down one rib in front of the other to come back down. Okay, so that's the upper half. I'm gonna add the lower half in just a moment. So press, good, <clears throat> sorry. Can I tweak this a little bit? I apologize. We're going to be really clear here. I'm gonna look beyond my mat. I'm not gonna use my hands until I can't go any further. And then I will press through my palms. Sorry guys. Inhale back down. Okay, try it one more time, then we'll add the lower half. So look beyond your mat, lift and peel without using your arms first. 
Then you press to the palms when you can't lift any further with your torso. As you roll back down, you start to lift your legs, either one leg or two legs just off the ground. So now your legs are lifted and your head and shoulders are down to the ground. Start to lower the legs down, look beyond your mat, peel and lift the upper half as the lower half comes down to the floor. Okay, so a little teeter-totter action. The legs draw up, the head and shoulder come down, and then reverse. So legs come down, peeling, lifting, pressing with the upper half. Good, inhale, come down. Okay, and if you're doing one leg at a time, you're just alternating which leg you're lifting off the ground and back down. Okay, rest there and just draw the backs of the hands and the forehead together as you just shift your hips side to side to release any tension that might be in your low back. There you go. Okay, good. So the head gets to take a break here. Upper half is going to rest on the ground, pulling the belly button up and in. Start to press those hip bones in the front towards the floor just a little deeper. Okay, we're gonna take either one leg off the floor or two legs off the floor. Okay, and then once you do have one or two legs off the floor, take them out wide and draw them back in, lower back down. If you're doing one leg, lift that one leg, or if you're doing two legs, lift two legs, take that leg or legs wide, draw them back together and lower back down. Okay, do it again. Lifting, taking them wide, back to center, lower back down. So again, Alternate side to side if you're on one leg. And down. Good. Exhale and lift. Out. Inhale, bring them together. Lower back down. One more time. Lift. Take them apart. Zipper them closed. And back down. Good. Okay, taking two arms and stretching them long in front of you. My head is just going to kind of looking down towards the mat. You can close your eyes, you can keep your eyes open, whatever you like, but it's just a slight lift. I'm gonna hover opposites off the floor. So let's take our left hand and our right leg and lift them, stretch them long off the floor. Inhale to lower back down and switch. And down, good. And lift and down and lift, good. This opposition work, is really, really important just for structural work. Um, we do a lot of opposition work without even thinking about it in our normal day to day. So this is just helping to support a lot of those movements and down. Okay, so this is option number one, where you always have something on the ground or you're switching on the ground. Option number two is to switch in midair. So you're lifted then you switch and lower back down. Okay, so that's just going to amplify it a little bit more. If you wish to stay with this pace, stay with this pace. If you think you want to go a little faster, challenge the brain and the body just a little differently, you can go a little faster. Okay, listening to your body, breathing, you can go a little faster still if you want to, just like you're swimming. Good, exhale, inhale. Exhale and release. Bring it up to child's pose. All the way up to all fours. And then settle back and just hold here for a moment. Okay. So we've got those hands and those wrists below the shoulders. We've got those knees about hip width apart and just below your hips. Those elbows, if they're rotating outwards, see if you can pull them back in so that they're facing each other in the center. There you go. Good. And then from there, all we're going to do is um, shoulders. Simple, simple, simple. We've done this one in the warm up, but it's a little different being on all fours. Without bending my elbows, I'm going to allow my torso to kind of sink into the floor. You'll feel your shoulder blades kind of coming closer together behind you. Now I'm going to pull my torso up and away from the floor, opening up those shoulder blades behind me. And then I'm going to sink into the floor, shoulder blades come together, and then I'm going to press up and away, really open up those shoulder blades. Inhale, come down. In this posture here, it's a little more difficult, first of all, because you really have to think your way through it. But we're also putting more weight into the hands, and so it is going to take this exercise that we did in warm-up and amplify it just a little bit more. 
Good. Let's try three more times. Inhale, come down. Exhale, press. Good. If your shoulder is not happy with this one, either try a smaller range of motion. If it's still not happy, just come out of it and stretch. Good. Okay. And then relax there. Settle into that in-between state there. Take your right hand off the floor and reach it underneath the left arm. Get a good stretch off the back of the ribs and then use your ribs to roll the arm all the way up towards the ceiling, keeping those hips square and then start again by rolling it underneath. Exhale to roll it up. And if you can, see if you can follow your fingertips with your eyes. If that's too much, <laughs> if your neck's not happy with it or if it's making you dizzy for any reason, just switch up your gaze. You don't have to follow those fingertips if you don't want to. Let's try one more time. Good. And then lay that hand back down. Maybe give your wrists a little bit of a shake, the one that was supporting your weight if it's a little tired. Okay, left hand now goes underneath the right. Reach long, get a good stretch off this one first, and then use those ribs to roll the arm all the way up. Good, inhale to come underneath. Keeping those hips square, exhale to roll it all the way up. Good, inhale to come back down. And exhale. Good. Now, because I got started a little late today, last one, I'm going to just continue on a little longer afternoon. If you need to go, don't feel bad. Okay, come back to center. Good work. And then just come off those wrists by bringing it down into sphinx on the two arms. Good. We still have a little time left, but I'm going to just take it over by about five minutes if that's okay with you guys. If it's not, again, and you have to go, that's okay too. All right. Come on up to all fours. Okay, we're gonna take the right leg long and the left arm long. Okay, hover both of those off the floor. Pull those ribs up and in. Good, now with your eyes open, we're gonna keep them open. Inhale to draw that lifted arm back alongside the body. Inhale to draw it forward. Now, as I draw it back, I'm kind of pushing my palm out as if I'm pushing water behind me. Then I roll the palm forward to push the water back in front of me. Exhale to draw it back. Inhale to draw it forward. Good, keep cruising here. Making sure those ribs are pulling up and in as you move through this motion. Let's try one more time. Exhale to pull it back. Inhale to pull it forward. Lay that hand down and let's switch to the other side. All right, draw that left leg out and the right arm. Pull those ribs up and away. Exhale, draw the arm back. Inhale, draw it forward. Turn that palm outward so you're pushing the water back. Pretend. And then inhale to push the water forward. Good, last three. Inhale. When you do exhale, see if you can just pull it all together a little bit tighter. Just a little bit tighter. Good. Inhale. Finding length off that back leg. Good, last one here. Inhale, draw it forward. Place the hands down, sit back into child's pose. Well done. Okay, a little bit of balance work here. Just a little bit. Okay, walking your hands in and I'm gonna bring you up to your knees. Good. And then I'm gonna bring one foot forward. Now, if you are on a hardwood floor and you wanna get a little bit of extra cushioning underneath you, just take the bottom of your mat, roll it up. Okay, and I'm gonna put one knee on that cushioning part there. Okay, and the other one comes forward. Okay, from here, we're gonna put weight into that front leg, a little bit more so than the back leg. But we're gonna keep that back foot down and it's gonna press just a little bit into the floor behind you. Okay, so you've got two feet grounding you into the ground. Okay, and then nice and tall for my posture, I'm going to hinge forward a little bit on my, uh, in through my hip. So that means you're gonna feel a little more weight into that front leg. Then my hands come to either my shoulders or my temples, okay? From there, I'm gonna take my opposite ribs, I'm gonna roll them in towards my inner thigh, and then I'm gonna come back to my slightly hinged forward position, okay? Exhale, I repeat the same side over and over again, okay? Good, exhale to come forward. Good job, Sue. If, if you feel like it's still really uncomfortable on that knee because you've got a hard surface underneath you, slide a blanket under there or a pillow or something. Exhale, good, one more time. Exhale, same side, good. 
Okay, and back up and we'll switch to the other side. Very nice. Okay, so let's get you set up here. First, four corners of that front foot pressing into the floor, the back foot very gently, that top of your foot is just pressing into the floor as well. Nice and tall in the saddle, pull that belly button in and then just hinge forward. So got this soft diagonal going here with my torso. Fingertips come to shoulders or temples. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull it all together, roll that opposite set of ribs in towards the inner thigh and return to your slightly leaned forward posture. Good, exhale, inhale. And what we're also watching, keep going, is that your hip and your knee and your ankle all stay in the same forward facing line. Okay, exhale for three, return, Woo. two more. Good, and one more time. Exhale, come back to center, lift it up, draw those two knees down to the floor. Good, place your hands to the ground as well. <clears throat> well done, I'm gonna push that back of my mat away from me, good. All right, and then we're gonna tuck the balls of our feet underneath. Okay, so you're gonna feel some length across your Achilles in the back there. And then I'm gonna draw it up to our downward dog. Okay, so put the weight across the balls of your feet as you reach your sit bones up towards the ceiling. All right, from here, press your left heel into the floor or thereabouts as you lift the right heel. And then you switch and switch. Good, and switch and switch. Good, just increasing that length through the calves. Okay, one more time and then Press two heels gently into the floor, reaching your sit bones up towards the ceiling, finding the length across the back of the thighs, really opening up those shoulders behind you. And now you're gonna hover back down. So your knees are gonna come just to hover above the floor, just enough to get a piece of paper underneath those knees, pulling the belly button in, wrapping those ribs around. All right, take a nice deep breath in. And on your exhale, reach your sit bones up towards the ceiling, pressing those heels somewhat towards the floor. Good, if they don't find the floor, that's okay. Hold there, reaching your sit bones up to emphasize the length in the back of the thigh. And then come back down to hover your knees just over top of the floor. Good, okay. Hold there and breathe. We're gonna do one more time with that downward dog. Reach it all the way up. Sit back into those heels, good. You got it. Reach those sit bones up just a little further and then draw. This time you get to come down, all the way down to the floor and untuck those feet and sit back into your child's pose. Good job. Whew. Okay. So it's 10.30. If you need to go, by all means, that's not a problem. I'm gonna keep going for just five more minutes, give you guys a good stretch before we go, okay? If you do have to leave, thank you so much for coming. Okay, come on up. All right, have a seat in front here. I'm gonna draw two feet together in front of me. Good, and I'm gonna sit up as tall as I can. Okay, now if this is enough of a stretch, you just hang out here. Pull that belly button in just a little bit to support that back and then see if you can just lean into that stretch. Good. You got it. Just see if you can let the neck and shoulders come away from this stretch or at least away from tension. Pardon me. We don't want them creeping up to your ears. They're just settled back down. Okay. Still staying here. Keeping those sit bones glued to the floor, lean just a little bit to one side, just to capture that deep low back a little bit more on one side and the other. And again, switch. And one more time, very nice. Okay, we're gonna take two legs long and we're gonna sit as tall as we can in the saddle, good. And then I'm going to take my hands, I'm just going to walk them forward. OK, 
Okay. Now, ideally, if we can just uh, picture that we're hinging at the hips as opposed to rounding through the spine. Now, if you're really tight in your hamstrings and this is really hard to do, you cannot lift in the tall in the saddle, just break it down to one leg at a time. Okay. But if you feel like you can do two, standing tall in your posture, sitting tall in your posture, <laughs> sorry, and walk those hands forward. Good. And then take your hands over to one side. Again, if this is just not comfortable, stick with one leg at a time. And then take your hands over to the other side. This is definitely one of those stretches that if you are feeling tight, <laughs> your body's gonna tell you on this one, so we'll pay attention to it. And we'll abide and we'll go back to where something, something that's a little more comfortable. And then roll it all the way up. Good. Okay, we're gonna draw those knees back together, or pardon me, in the knee bend position, about mat width apart. I'm gonna rest my hands back behind me and I'm gonna dip one knee in towards the center line. Good. And then I'm gonna change to the other side. And we're gonna take this stretch one step further. Okay, when we switch, we're gonna draw that knee down and then we're gonna put more weight into that outside leg as I put two hands to the floor, okay, in front of me. And then I'm gonna come back on top of my sit bones. I'm gonna draw that knee inside. I'm gonna take that knee out and I'm gonna place two hands on the floor to the outside of that front knee, good. And then I'm gonna switch it over to the other side. Okay, we'll take it just one step further here again. Okay, so roll it over to the other side, place two hands on the floor, and then take that back leg and stretch it long as you lean into those hands and that front leg. Good. Going a little further with this one. And then I'm gonna stack back on top of my sit bones, draw those knees together, okay. Place those two hands on either side of that front knee. Stretch that back leg long if you can. And then just lean into that front leg. Good. And come back up. Very nice. And out of it. Good. Okay, one leg goes long. One leg crosses over. Opposite hand reaches for that knee and pulls it in towards your body, lift, and then see if you can get a little bit more rotation on this one. Now that we're really warm. And then switch sides. Good. Nice and tall, get that rotation. to center. One more time, I'm gonna go a little bit broader with those thighs, and then I'm gonna lean in between and just get that length off the back thigh. Good work. Okay, roll it all the way up, crisscross those legs. One last stretch before you're done for the day. Nice and tall in the saddle here, good. Okay, take the uh, ears over the shoulder by pulling the shoulders open a little bit more, and then draw one ear to one shoulder. Just get the length off the side of the neck there. Good. And switch. Come back to center with that really nice tall posture. Just take your fingertips to your temples. Keep the elbows wide. Keep your pelvis where it is and just reach uh, your head back. Now, Go only to where you feel comfortable. We're just trying to get that curve in the back of the neck, okay? We are opening up across the chest as well, but ideally I'm kind of focusing on the back of that neck. 